I'm the captain on an 85-foot yacht. It's a wooden boat, and it does take on a bit of water. The yacht has six different bilge pumps, and I'm concerned about the boat when I'm not there. So I designed this alarm system to phone me and let me know, no matter how far away I am from the boat, what's happening with the bilge pumps. Well, this one system I just, I just designed, it has a delay of 10 minutes. So if the pump should run for 10 minutes or longer, I'll get a phone call. Now why would the pump run for 10 minutes? Well, maybe there's a float switch that's stuck up. Sometimes gunk gets in the hinges, or maybe something floated in and held it up. This is like what you'd have on your boat. Normally these things come on at about 2 inches and turn off at about 3 quarters of an inch. And your water level shouldn't get more than about here. If it gets up to here, then my other high water alarm comes on. So there's two different alarm sensors. Now, about the 10 minute delay, I talked about having gunk or debris hindering the float switch, but also there could be a bad connection. Sometimes these wires get wet. In fact, that's what happens most of the time. And when you have a bad connection, the pump can pump slower, or maybe the battery's low, in which case it would go for like 10 minutes or longer. Or maybe the pump's just worn out. So that's what the 10 minute delay will, will give me a phone call for. But then also, we have the high water alarm. And that's pretty obvious about the high water. Maybe the pump fuse is blown, you get a phone call. Maybe the float switch is stuck up, or stuck down, or maybe just stuck. Sometimes a hose clamp can pop off here. Lots of different things can happen. What really concerns me a lot, though, if you're underway, you can have something catastrophic happen. For example, maybe you blow a water-cooled exhaust hose. So when your engine is running, it's just pumping gallons and gallons of water in your boat, far more than this could keep up. Maybe you have a through-hole fitting failing someplace. So I think what I'll just do is demonstrate how this thing works. So either the pump's been running for 10 minutes, or the high water alarm goes off. When it goes off, this sensor is going to send a signal to this transmitter right here. This is the transmitter. And then wirelessly, so that this can be down by the bilge and this can be up in the wheelhouse, wirelessly, the transmitter will speed dial my phone at the same time putting off a siren so that you'll be able to hear it, you know something's happening downstairs. And then you'll get a phone call. So let's just go ahead and do it right now. And let's say we're worried about the high water alarm. So the water's coming up, water's coming up, water's coming up. Bilge pump is failing. It's coming up to this level. Now it's going to speed dial my phone. Well, that's enough of that. I think I'll shut her down here. So, and it's really easy to install. The high water flow switch just has one hose clamp. And I built a little metal bracket for it. Just one hose clamp right here on this screw. And now that's all there is to that. And as far as uh, installing the transmitter, it's got screw holes in the back. And all you have to do is put this on a bulkhead. And that's mounted. So it's awfully easy to install. Just a few seconds to install the whole thing. That's it.